If you think the answer is four, you are absolutely wrong. Honestly, I don't blame you for thinking that, because visually, this problem is practically begging you to make a mistake. When you look at 12 divided by 3 fourths times 4, your brain instantly spots a shortcut. You see that 4 at the bottom of the fraction, and you see the whole number 4 on the right side, and basic algebra tells us, hey, if you have a 4 on the bottom and a 4 on the top, they cancel each other out, right? It feels so satisfying. You just cross them out, the fraction disappears, and you're left with 12 divided by 3. And obviously, 12 divided by 3 is 4. It seems like the perfect tidy solution. But uh, mathematics doesn't care about what looks tidy. It cares about the rules. And doing it that way breaks the fundamental laws of operation. Before we fix this mess, do me a huge favour. Check in my stats, 97% of viewers actually don't subscribe to my channel. Please consider hitting like and subscribe. It is super quick and helps a ton. OK, so here's the reality check. The reason you can't just cancel those fours is because of the order of operations, specifically PEMDAS or BODMAS. The rule everyone forgets is that multiplication and division are equals. They have the exact same priority. You don't do multiplication first just because it looks like a group. You have to solve the problem strictly from left to right, like reading a sentence. The problem is not asking you to multiply 3 fourths by 4. It is asking you to take 12, divide it by 3 fourths, and then take that result and multiply it by 4. The division sign acts like a wall. You can't just reach over the wall and start cancelling numbers on the other side. So, let's do it the right way, no shortcuts. We start at the far left, 12 divided by 3 fourths. Now, remember how we divide by a fraction? We don't. We multiply by the reciprocal. You might remember the phrase keep, change, flip from school. We keep the 12, we change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and we flip the 3 fourths upside down to become 4 thirds. So now the problem is 12 times 4 thirds. Let's solve that. 12 times 4 is 48, then 48 divided by 3 is 16. OK, are you with me? We have replaced that whole first section with the number 16. But we're not done. We still have that times 4 sitting at the end of the equation waiting for its turn. So now the problem is just 16 times 4. And if you work that out, 16 times 2 is 32, times 2 again is 64. That's a massive difference from 4. The trap was thinking the fraction and the multiplier were a package deal, but the order of operations split them up right at the start. So the correct answer is 64, not 4. Think you've got a better explanation? Let's see it in the comments.